Romantic, stylish and glamorous, the kind of words many of us might associate with Venice, although probably not on the tips of our tongues when it comes to Iraq. But now, 10 years after the outbreak of war and the downfall of Saddam Hussein, 11 Iraqi artists are hoping to change perceptions of their country with a new show at the Venice Biennale Art Exhibition. It showcases painting, sculpture and cartoons, all of which explore the reality of life in Iraq. Farat Al-Jamil has created this sculpture of a honeycomb dripping healing sweetness into a broken pot which has been in her family for 300 years. It's intended as a metaphor for the broken Baghdad in which she lives and struggles to practice as an artist. It takes you hours to go from A to B and uh, at the same time it's not only the time consuming effort you have to go through but also you have this psychological pressure that any moment anything can happen to you and then you get home and there is no power then you have to see where what happened and the electrical cord has fallen down. There are so many things that is time consuming and uh, consuming your inner uh, powers. This is the first time in more than three decades that artists living and working in Iraq have taken part in the Venice Biennale. Two years ago, the country re-established its presence here, but was only able to mount an exhibition of work by artists living in exile. Now, Welcome to Iraq is intended as a signal of the country's artistic reawakening and a desire to culturally re-engage with the world. The exhibition has been put together by British curator Jonathan Watkins. He travelled in a convoy of armoured cars from Basra to Kurdistan in a search for artists to take part in the show. It's not uh, easy to travel around Iraq. The infrastructure is very um, uh, chaotic and, and there's nobody there to consult. I mean, there are no curators to ring up when you get to Baghdad and say, please tell me you know, how the scene is in Basra. You're more or less going from one artist to another, dealing with very raw material. The exhibition includes several pieces made from waste products and discarded objects, reflecting the scarcity of artist materials in Iraq. And Kurdish artist Jamal Penjweni has produced a series of photographs called Saddam is Here, which explore Saddam Hussein's ongoing influence on the Iraqi people. I remember when I was a child in the, our classroom and there's a picture of Saddam still everywhere. Saddam was for us like Godfather. I discover in the psychology of the people, the way they, uh, they live, the way they love. It's a, it's, there's, there's a lot of Saddam inside the people. Living through a dictatorship and then war meant that artists in Iraq became cut off from the global artistic community. Something Farat al-Jamil is hoping to address during her time at the Biennale. We can see new uh, new artworks and, uh, of course, uh, artwork that are appreciated in the world nowadays. And you get inspiration and at the same time you will um, more and more can take with you things from here to bring back to Iraq and talk about it or to bring back catalogues or whatever to, for other people to see. Welcome to Iraq is showing in a 16th century palace, which also houses a kitchen where traditional Iraqi tea and pastries are served. The idea is to provide a forum where Iraqi artists can re-engage with the international artistic community, as well as showing the world that there's more to Iraq than war and destruction. Matthew Kane, Channel 4 News, Venice.